Carlo Ancelotti's side picked up a vital three points that could see them lock up the league title before the day's finished. With Carlo Ancelotti resting most of his big guns, Brahim Diaz got the job done for Real Madrid. Scoring one goal and assisting another as Los Blancos breezed past Cadiz to move within touching distance of regaining La Liga. Eder Militao came closest for Los Blancos in the first half, his 30-yard effort stinging the palms of the sprawling Uremia's Ledesma. Ancelotti's side looked a more assertive side after the break, and Diaz provided the crucial moment. Spinning his man before firing a guided effort into the top corner from outside the box. Diaz set up the second, too, cutting back for Jude Bellingham, who got on the score sheet within five minutes of being substituted on. Donny Carvajal could have put the game beyond doubt with ten minutes remaining, but fired over with the goal gaping. Joe Selu made up for his miss, though, completing a sweeping counter-attack, De Silla convincing 3-0 victory in second-half stoppage time. Madrid are now playing a waiting game. If Barcelona drop points against Girona in the Catalonian Derby, they will be league winners by the end of the day. Goal rates Real Madrid's players from the Santiago Bernabeu. Goalkeeper and in defense. Thibaut Courtois 6-10 Latavelliantable in his first start this season. Good to keep a clean sheet as he finally brought an end to what has been a nightmare spell out due to injury. Dani Carvajal 7-10. Another impressive showing at right back. Got forward well, and made some key interventions at the back. Eder Militao, 7-10, commanded the back line effectively as he continues to work his way back to full fitness. Nacho, 6-10, as reliable as usual, even if his lack of pace was exposed on a few occasions. Assisted Joselu's goal late on. Fran Garcia, 7-10, scamper it on the left with regularity and looked better defensively than in recent weeks. Midfield. Eduardo Camavinga, 7-10, broke up play, offered some attacking thrust, and went on a few interesting runs from deep. A class act, less than a week after being benched against Bayern. Luka Modric, 8-10, completed almost all of his passes, and made most of them look lovely too. Assisted Diaz's fine opening effort. Donny Ceballos 5-10, a few nice touches, but looked like he was trying to force it to often. Puzzling that he decided to stay at the club last summer. Attack. Arta Guller 6-10, lively four periods, but the game wasn't open enough for him to work his magic. Good minutes under his belt, regardless. Joe Selling 7-10, frustrated for most of the game. Got in all of the right areas, but lacked service to do much after getting there. Changed his fortunes with a wonderful goal in the 94th minute. Brahim Diaz 8-10. Opened the scoring with a magical turn and finish. Assisted Bellingham's goal too. Would start for pretty much any other team in La Liga on current form. Subs and in manager. Jude Bellingham 7-10. Note a bad sub to bring off the bench. Scored within five minutes of his introduction. Otherwise kept it simple, and linked play effectively in the final third. Vinicius Jr. 7-10. Almost proved it a ridiculous Rabona assist. Key as Madrid piled on the pressure. Federico Valverde, Anna, no time to make an impact. Carlo Ancelotti 8-10 rotated heavily with one eye on the Champions League semi-final second leg on Wednesday. Madrid were poor in the first half, before turning it on in the second. A classy win.